Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to multiply and divide fractions. And this is going to help those of you who may be taking the TSV exam or the HESI exam or something like that where there's a math portion and you cannot use your calculator. So this is just help you to refresh. So I'm going to give you a couple of different mnemonics that you can keep in mind to help you work these. The first one is for when you multiply fractions and the mnemonic is MITS. And MITS stands for you turn mixed fractions into improper fractions. That's the first two parts. Then for the T, you times it across the top and the bottom. So you multiply the top and the bottom. And then finally you simplify. Now when you divide, there's one extra step, but it's basically the same. First of all, you turn the mixed fractions into improper fractions, same two steps. But then you flip the second fraction, okay? And then you're gonna change the divide to multiply. So you flip the second fraction, then you times across the top and bottom, and then you simplify that. So pretty much the same as multiplying, but just an extra step. And just to quickly recap, a mixed fraction or a mixed number is where you have a whole number and a fraction. So two and a half is an example of that. An improper fraction is where the numerator is greater than the denominator. So the top number is greater than the bottom number. It's real easy to convert between a mixed fraction and an improper fraction and then back to a mixed fraction. So it's real easy to do that and I'll show you some examples. And then finally, a proper fraction is just where the top number is less than the bottom number. Two thirds is an example of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and work one of these problems to show you how this works. And our first problem here, we have three over four times two over three. We'll refer to our nifty little mnemonic here and the first two parts are M and I, that stands for turning mixed fractions into improper fractions. Do we have any mixed fractions here? No, these are just basic proper fractions. So then we can go to the third step, which is the T, and you times across the top and then times across the bottom. So we'll go ahead and redraw this out here, and we'll, we'll go ahead and work this. So three times two is gonna give us six, and then four times three is going to give us 12. And you'll remember that I did a video on adding and subtracting fractions. And when you add and subtract fractions, you have to get the least common denominator if the denominators are different. But when you multiply, you don't even have to worry about that. So it's a little bit easier. So we have six over 12 and our final step is the S for simplify. And we're gonna ask, is there any number that we can divide both the top and bottom into that will give us an even number so that we can reduce the size of this fraction. And the answer is yes, we could divide six by two and we could also divide the bottom by two, but let's see if there's maybe even a higher number so that it'll save us a few steps. We could do three, three will go into six two times and three would go into 12 four times, but maybe there's one more number and I see that six will go into six one time and six will go into 12 two times. So that's gonna be our greatest common factor here. So we'll divide the top by six and we'll divide the bottom by six to help us simplify. Six divided by six is gonna give us one. 12 divided by six is gonna give us two. And there we have our answer to our first problem. Okay, for our next problem here, I have negative one and one third times two and one half. So we'll refer to back to our mnemonic here, MITS for the multiplication. And the M and the I in MITS stands for converting mixed fractions to improper fractions. And you gotta do that first. And we see here that both of these are mixed numbers or mixed fractions. So let's go ahead and convert those before we work it. And we know this is a negative sign, so we're gonna go ahead and carry that over because that's not gonna change. And then to find the denominator, we simply carry over the three. So it's gonna be something over three here for this first problem. Now to find our numerator, what we do is we multiply the denominator times the whole number and then add the numerator. So three times one is three, three plus one is four. So it's gonna be negative four over three. And we'll do the same for the second one. We just simply carry over that denominator. So we'll carry that over here. It's gonna be something over two. And then to find our numerator, we multiply two times two and then add one. So two times two is four. Four plus one is five. So we have negative four over three times five over two. Now for the next one, the T for our little mnemonic means that we times across and then times the bottom. So. We'll go ahead, we know that a negative number times a positive number is always gonna give us a negative number, so we'll go ahead and just draw out our negative sign and draw our separator here and multiply the top. So four times five is gonna give us 20 and then multiply across the bottom. Three times two is six. So we have negative 20 over six, which I'll redraw right here. Now, the last part is simplify. Is there a number that we could divide the top and the bottom by to reduce the size of this fraction, the greatest common factor number? 
Um, and we do see that we could divide 20 by 2 and we could also divide 6 by 2 and that looks like that's going to be the highest number that we could use, the greatest common factor. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll just carry over our negative sign because it's not going to change. And then we divide 20 by 2 and then 6 divided by 2. So 20 divided by 2 is 10. 6 divided by 2 is going to give us 3. Okay, so we have negative 10 over 3. But one last step, because anytime we have an improper fraction as our final answer, we usually like to go ahead and convert that back to mixed number format because it just looks a little cleaner. So how we would do that is that first of all, we're going to have a whole number and then we're going to have a fraction. And because it's negative, it, again, it's going to be a negative number. So how we do that is we basically just divide 10 by 3 and we're going to carry over the denominator just like we do up here. So we'll go ahead and put the 3 there and then divide 10 by 3. So 3 will go into 10 how many times? It'll go 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 10 minus 9 is going to give us a remainder of 1. So it's going to be 3 with a remainder of 1. We put the 3 here for the whole number and for that remainder number we put it over the fraction. So our answer is negative 3 and 1 third. Okay, for our next problem here, we have two plus one and one third times three over two. So this is a little bit trickier because we have both addition and multiplication in the same problem. And what we're gonna wanna do here is follow something called the order of operations. And the order of operations just tells us which order we begin to solve this problem. And I'm gonna do a video on that next, but multiplication comes before addition. So basically we're gonna ignore this part and just solve this part first and then we'll come back and we'll plug in the rest of this problem and solve it. So first of all, we follow our little mnemonic here, MITS for multiplication, and we know that we convert mixed numbers into improper numbers or improper fractions, and then we times across. So the first number here is a mixed number, and we gotta convert that. To do that, we draw our separator. The denominator just simply carries over, so it's gonna be something over three, and to find that numerator, we multiply three times one, which is three, and then add it to the numerator, which is one. So three times one is three, plus one is four. And then this is an improper fraction. We can just carry that whole fraction over and copy that over. And now we are ready to times across the top and times across the bottom to solve. So four times three is gonna give us 12. And then three times two is gonna give us six. And then the final part is to simplify. And we see here that it's an improper fraction, which means the top number is greater than the bottom number, but we also see that the top number can actually be divided by the bottom number and give us an even number. So whenever that happens, basically we're gonna go ahead and do that because we can get a whole number and we're gonna be good to go. So 12 divided by six is gonna give us two. So our answer to one and one third times three over two is two. So we can come back now and we can say two plus and plug in our answer two and it's gonna be real simple, two plus two is four. Okay, now for a division problem, we have three and two thirds divided by four. And we're gonna follow the other mnemonic here which is myths because there's one more step other than this one. So basically what we're gonna do is first, we gotta convert the mixed fractions into improper fractions. So we'll go ahead and do that as our first step because we do have one here. So um, what we'll do is we'll draw our separator. We know that the denominator just carries over, so it's gonna be something over three. To get the top number, we'll say three times three plus two. So three times three is nine, plus two is gonna give us 11. So we're gonna have 11 over three. And then for this part, basically what we're gonna do is, this is basically written as four over one. Anytime you have a whole number, you can basically put it over one, and that'll help us a little bit with this fraction. So. We'll just say divided by four over one. That's another way to express that. So now we have our fraction set up. We have the M and the I taken care of, but the F says flip the second fraction. So we're gonna have to flip it and then we're gonna multiply instead of divide here. So basically we'll rewrite the problem again. We're gonna have 11 over three and we're gonna flip that one, which is gonna be one over four. And then instead of divide, we actually just multiply. We times it across, that's the next part. So this is gonna be 11 times one is 11. Three times four is 12. So 11 over 12 is our answer. Okay, for our next problem here, we have six over five divided by four over seven. And so again, it's a division problem. We're following the mnemonic MIFS. And the M and the I stands for mixed fractions have to be converted to improper fractions. We don't have any mixed fractions, so we're good to go on that. Next, we have to flip the second one. So that's what we're gonna to have to do. We're gonna to have to flip this over and then multiply instead of divide. That's how we solve. So 
6 over 5. We'll copy that over. Now this is going to get flipped. It's going to be 7 over 4 and then we multiply and that's it's that easy. So 6 times 7 is going to be 42 and then 5 times 4 is going to give us 20. Now we want to simplify this so we carry down here 42 over 20. What is the greatest common factor that we could divide both 42 and 20 by to make this fraction smaller and as simplified as possible? Well, we know that 2 will, so we'll try that one. 42 divided by 2 and 20 divided by 2. 42 divided by 2 will give us 21. 20 divided by 2 will give us 10. So we have 21 over 10. But we're not done yet because we want to go ahead and convert this back to a mixed fraction because that is an improper fraction with the top being greater than the bottom. So how we do that is again, we're going to have a whole number and we're going to have a fraction. We go ahead and just copy our denominator over. It's going to be something over 10. And then what we do is basically we divide 21 by 10. 10 will go into 21 how many times? 2. Um, that's going to be our whole number. 2 times 10 is 20, and it's going to give us a remainder of 1. 21 minus 20 is 1, so 2 with a remainder of 1. We put 2 as our whole number, and 1 over 10. So the answer, 6 over 5 divided by 4 over 7 is 2 and 1 10. Okay, for our final problem, we have 3 plus 3 over 2 divided by 1 and 2 thirds. So again, following the order of operations, we know that division and multiplication has to be solved before addition and subtraction. So we're just going to ignore this part of the problem and first solve this part right here. And this is a division problem, so we are going to refer to our little mnemonic myths here, and we know that we have to convert mixed fractions into improper fractions before we can even begin to solve this. So we'll just go ahead and carry this over. Um, 3 over 2 is good to go, so we'll just bring that over, and then it's going to be divided by, and we got to convert this to an improper fraction. So we carry over the denominator, it's going to be something over 3, and to get the numerator we say 3 times 1 plus the numerator here, which is 2, so 3 times 1 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have 3 over 2 divided by 5 over 3. Now the next step is F for flip. We have to flip that second one and then times across the top and bottom. So basically the division becomes a multiplication problem. So it's going to be 3 over 2 times, flip that, 3 over 5. 3 times 3 is 9. 2 times 5 is 10. So our answer for that part of the problem is 9 over 10. That's what that's going to be. So we'll just carry our problem down here. 3 plus, and then we know this is 9 tenths. We just say 9 over 10. And this is going to be real easy to solve because 3 plus 9 over 10 is going to give us 3 and 9 tenths. Okay, so that's how you multiply and divide fractions. Again, we have a free quiz if you want to practice on our website. Try to do it without your calculator because that's how you're going to be tested. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and please subscribe.